This question comes to us from William Potter, and he said that he's working on getting a little more flexion in his right wrist, so more of this and, and less twist and up and down, but feeling more of this action. And you got to understand there's two. Your hands do two things. They work this way, and they work a little up and down. What we want to eliminate is as much of this as we possibly can. Okay, so he says when he starts working on this, which, by the way, if I throw a baseball, it's flexion, and here's what, there's, there's speed. So if I hold my fingers back, which would be the ball, and I go like this, and then I keep my arm going, and my wrist stays relaxed, and I move my hand forward, what happens to my wrist? What do, what do my fingers do? So my fingers would be the weight of the club, which holds my wrist like this. Then all of a sudden, the club gets in the right arc where it's no longer putting as much pressure on my wrist, and it takes off, and what happens to your wrist? Now, he said that when he's trying to do that, he's found that he's hitting it higher, and he's starting to hit a few sh shots fat. Why? Okay, once this angle, and we can start talking, if you want to talk lag, which I don't like the word, but if your wrist goes like this, and the wrist works that way, and you go back and you come down and your right wrist is like this, and not turned this way, where it's having to twist. So if it's right here, when you go into the ball, see, I, I could leave the angle in my wrist. I could actually hold the angle in my wrist and keep it there, and what would happen to the ball? So if I went back, I created that angle, and then I just left that angle in there. If my hand's coming this way, what's going to happen? Well, the ball went really low, but it went straight. It went straight because I wasn't, I wasn't holding the angle this way. I was holding it like it. So the club face is at a 90-degree angle to my swing arc, so the ball's going to go pretty straight, but it goes low. So when people start thinking throw, they get here and they, start, they try to help it from the top. Well, when I throw a baseball, you know, I don't unhinge my wrist here. Now, th it starts to go, the momentum of the club's going, but as the ball comes out of my hand right here, that's when my wrist goes. All right, so where you're hitting it high, what's happening? Well, you're feeling that angle in your wrist, and this comes down to one of the biggest pre reasons that people cast the club or lose this angle early because they get the face so far open that when they come down, they have to try to unhinge and, and rotate the face. So they're up here going, I don't want to slice it, so they start really early. Now, if all of a sudden your grip's good and your wrist starts working this way, you don't, you don't have to help it. You direct the momentum, but you don't have to take the flexion out of your wrist. What's going to take the flexion out of your wrist? The momentum of the club. It's going to do it for you. So once I go back and my right wrist goes here like I'm going to throw, okay, when I start down, I'm just directing the momentum of the club. My hand, my wrist, is I don't, I'm not pushing my wrist. What's going to make my wrist go? The weight of the club head. So I go back, my wrist is right there, and I just go ahead and swing forward, and the weight of the club unhinges my wrist. So it's not something that I'm forcing to happen. And then we start talking about how do you control trajectory. Well, when I hit a ball, the further my knuckles are behind my wrist when I hit it, the lower the ball's going to go. So then you start hitting some little shots where you, you feel this relationship of your knuckles to your wrist. And you start with little wedges. Hit it low, hit a little higher. But if my wrist is working this way, see, it doesn't matter whether my hand's here, my wrist is there, here, or here. See, the face, if you watch that, see, the face isn't twisting. Now, what I got into, when they start having me hold the face open and hold this angle on that like that, see, if I was late at all, where's the face? Wide open. So then I'd panic, and, I'd, and then it would be closed. So I was dealing with too much of this, too much trying to catch the face up instead of what I grew up starting, which is like throwing a baseball. So again... If you're, if you're mishitting it, if you're hitting it too high or whatever, you, you don't have to force it to go. This club is going to go for you. Just like my hand when I throw a baseball, you know, it, I don't have to think about hold the angle in my wrist and then make it go. I don't have to make it. It's just the momentum and the joints because of momentum and circles. It just happens. So the same thing's going to happen here. If your right wrist works the same way like a throw, 
then the weight of the club head, which is the weight of the ball, which is, which is the weight of the baseball, your wrist will just go in the right timing. So it does it for you. So gravity, momentum, centripetal force, this magical forces, actually make the hinging, unhinging, and rehinging of your wrist works because of those forces, not because you're forcing them to happen. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.